Miles, uh, I think our call dropped. Anyway, coming into pour coffee soon? <laughs> Good thing I've been practicing my form. You still got a Wednesday afternoon shift? I'm meeting up with Haley that day. Maybe we can both stop by. Ah, kid, I see how it is. Trying to look good for the ladies. I approve. Yeah, I'll keep a spot warm for you both. See you next Wednesday. See you then. Got two words for you. Air combat. In this challenge, enemies only take damage while airborne. Get as many airborne KOs as possible. Approach the prompt when you're ready. Air combat? Oh, I got this. Melee attack. Trigger. Batter up! Can't stand the heat? Get out the airborne kitchen. And the crowd goes wild. Down he goes. Standing guys up on your airborne. Bada bing, bada boom. KO'd before his feet even touch the ground. Nice. Man, I feel like... Great! Cool! Impressive airborne ballet of destruction there, Miles! Pete's right! Way more control up here! Attacking target! That was practically floating! Before you obliterated him in the pixels! Good work! Classical music would go great with this! Like a waltz! A waltz with punches! I did my spider hat to you, sir. Spectacular work. You... Airborne poetry in motion, Miles. Now that you know the secrets of air combat, you'll do more damage while airborne. Get those bad dudes off their feet. Hear me, Jeb? Feel stronger already. Use some bombs. If you lure guards away from the bomb, you can defuse it without being seen. Possible disturbance. Initiating investigation. Do you have a takedown? You've been spotted. Bombs have exploded. No good. No good. Try again? Glad these bombs aren't real. <sighs> Try luring guards away, then sneaking in to defuse the bombs. Need to get them away from the bomb. people think when they see me doing these challenges. Oh, they're Spider-Man, stealthing holograms. That's totally normal, not weird in any way.
Remember, your priority is defusing the bombs on scene. You don't need to take out every bad guy. These bombs aren't real. Searching for hostile target. Attempting to reacquire visual tracking. Bombs are fake, but this is surprisingly stressful. Status alert. Search protocols active. Auditory alert. Race. Gotta use this sometime. Hola, mijo. Are you at home? I'm doing Spider Man things. I'm still getting used to that. Reminds me of when I used to call your dad at work. Sometimes I'd catch him on patrol, or he'd have to shout over sirens. You ever call when he was making a bust? One time. He was taking in a felon who'd skip bail. The guy wriggled out of his cuffs and his pants to make... ...break for it. Your dad had to chase him down fifth. I was on the phone for the whole thing. No way! You serious? Serious. Best part? People took pictures, and it made the bugle. <laughs> Your dad was not happy. Made him the butt of a lot of jokes at the station. But, <laughs> nice one, Ma. I did not mean to do that. Either way, awesome story. So what's up? Did you need something? No, I just wanted to hear your voice and make sure you're okay. 
I'll let you go. Bye, honey. Love you. Bye. All right, CLDBs. Let's hunt. Hanging among the lights. Hmm. Maybe it's between the lights and that speaker. <sighs> Here we go. Lobster Bills, dad's favorite restaurant. Nestled beneath Stuyvesant, lives a monster of a good meal. It's been half my youth at CODB's with your own. Every musician we love played at this crank on the stage. Aaron even got up there once himself. Didn't do half bad, either. When he finally told me about his night job, this is where he took me, to soften the blow. But he poisoned the place for me. Never took it here because of it. I'm afraid of that. You'd love it, just like I did. So, how about this? Find a show you want to see, anything, my treat. Come out here, and the old man will show you how he used to bust a move. <laughs> Next clue's all yours, Miles. Monster of a good meal. Pretty sure I know which monster he means. Keep moving, keep moving. Next clue must be on Bill the Lobster. Guy is pretty monstrous. I'm still full. Oh, here's the clue. I know this place. The art space on the Upper East Side. No letter enters this artsy castle without stopping at the gate. Woo, boy! Home away from home. Always reminded me of the Graham's kitchen down south. Took your mom here on our first thing. Just to help every day that's the rest. Even once when she was pregnant with you. And she went into labor right before the I blame the kitchen. She was less of a fan after that. But I'm not gonna lie, son. Some of those nights working late? Oh, yeah. I'm stopping in for some pride on Don't tell you that. Gotta get on with my day. Margin for error. Easy. You got this. Doing good, Miles. Keep moving. Just gotta trust my gut. Keep an eye on the checkpoints coming up. We need to plot a course on the fly. Swinging challenge that's really about in the moment problem solving. Nice mentoring, Pete. Never really appreciated Central Park till now. Love this place. You just turned me from Spider Man into a Spider Fan. Ultimate level work here, Miles. Carve your own path challenge complete. 
Perfect. Here's a trick. Invert your web shooter nozzle. Trust me. Do the force you need for a second mid-air zip. Real lifesaver, that one. Invert it? Really? And what? Oh, he's right. Totally right. Smart. Oh, wow. Oh, you finished all the challenges. Guess there's nothing to do but release the super secret bonus ultimate challenge. Head to ESU. If you dare. <laughs> wow. Wow, evil laughs are so much harder to pull off than they seem. <laughs> oh, man, he's right. Do bad guys take classes in this stuff? There's the art space. Okay, no letter enters this artsy castle without stopping at the gate. So Fisk was behind all that stuff. Should the check the gates around the building. Next level, Machiavelli, bro. Next level. CJ Walker Park. I know this place, up in Harlem. Beneath the hoop where you learn to fly, your journey comes to an end. Man, not ready for this to be over. Middle school. You and Finn joked it felt like a royal coronation when you saw the art school today. Your mom and I were so proud. Our son and our almost daughter graduating at the top of their class. I know it made you sad that both of you go to different high schools. But Miles, I'll tell you, the friendships you make when you're young, the real ones, those last. You and Finn will find each other again. Maybe a few years down the line, maybe a few decades. One clue left. Bet you can't wait to get to the end. Finn and I did find each other again. Just not the way Dad thought. Oh! This is it. CJ Walker Park. You need the hoop where you learn to fly. Your journey comes to an end. You know, I used to think you were for rocks. Getting used to seeing two of you around. Man. So many memories. And so we come to the end. C.J. Walker Park. Remember when we played ball here in the summers? Your uncle showed you how to take it to the rack. Well, I demonstrated how to throw it down with authority. Don't think I'll ever forget watching you and Finn trying to alley-oop to your mom. This place reminds me that it's the craziest life gets. Only one thing really matters. The people you love. You, your mom, Finn, Genki, even your uncle. Keep the folks you care about close to your heart, and you'll never go wrong. Happy birthday, big man. You are my reason for being brave. Mom? Just finished the scavenger hunt. Thank you so much for putting it together. For a little while, it was like he was back. He never left me home. I love you. I love you, Ma. All right. Here we go. What's good, Harlem? Another year without a boyfriend. You really want me to leave Christmas? All that crap. What music do you listen to? What is wrong with you, Pete? Hey, now that my mom knows about, you know, how much you think I should tell her? Like, should you tell her about every cracked rib and supervillain with a vendetta? That is tough. I never had to face that question with May. I worry if I'm too open, she'll stress out. 
But if I hold back, she'll stress even more. I don't know. Your mom's pretty good with stress. I mean, she did go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Roxanne. Talk it out. Find out how much she wants to know, and how much you're comfortable sharing. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's good advice. Every time I think I know everything about superheroing, bam, something new. Just wait till you gotta figure out health insurance. Let me tell you, premiums get nuts after three freak accident detached retinas. Something to look forward to. All right. Thanks, Pete. Take it easy. Fun. On the very first day of class. Oh, mashing with the bird seed, Spider Man! My best vulture. Oh, Pete had fun with this. Vulture's own research partner, Greg Bestman, taught in history. Vulture tried to take Bestman out. I'm not I'll tell you what, my Spider Man hard. Love Pete's story. Always meddling, Spider Man. Why won't you let me commit my senseless, overly dramatic crimes in peace? Feel like Pete's working out some stuff with this vulture imitation. I'm old! I'm old and I hate you! Get off my lawn! Dirty bird special! Casual racism that is not worthy to challenge me on! <laughs> Too real! Have I told you I like Shakespeare? I do! I love him! But I misquote Hamlet every time we fight and refuse to admit it! To be or like not! That's a question! Spider-Man villains got some issues! Spider-Man! Ah! It's clever because I don't want you to catch anything! Hilarious! Ah! Curses! Ah, <laughs> no! No! It was a tough fight, but he was weakening. Then, just as I thought I might actually win, Vulture's eviler twin brother showed up to help. Well, actually, he really don't need Two? Like no joke. How does it feel to be a metaphor for youthful and experienced? Vulture number two. Great vulture number one. I love being used to illustrate the importance of pacing yourself during a battle. How long has you been making this? Hey, vulture number two. How should you buy a bird? What is it going? I've been waiting for the bird jokes to come out! Why are we so beautiful, Because of society! Society is the blame! Also, overinflated egos combined with an inability to achieve the general goal of But mainly society! Heh! <laughs> Throw some pink! <laughs> when you call Vulture, I'm not gonna use it either. Curses! 
what Peach's doing. Fight with the message. The thematic structure. Be gone instant! This yours? I won't have it, Spider-Man! No, can't use camo. Wanna beat this challenge the old-fashioned way. design. Someone spotted a bunch of escaped convicts with hostages blocking... before returning to the raft. The underground screwing with a billboard. Should check it out. An out-of-control helicopter and skyscraper not make me feel good. A mugging. At a donation stand? New York never ceases to amaze me.
this car chase is about to turn into a web chase. Roxxon's attacking the underground. Bystanders are safe. It's time to head out. Car chase. Good thing I don't have to worry about traffic.
Prison escapees. We're returning to the raft. Car chase. Good thing I don't have to... Swing out to Queen. I hope I can stop this chase before someone's hurt. Taking you down! 
Where'd he go? Beauty hey. Spider-Man! You're mine! Bathroom sink? Nah, this is therapeutic. I'm doing full scale bathroom renovation. Well, that sounds incredibly boring. Just wait. Once you're an old, grizzled Spider Man like me, you'll get hyped about home repair. Anyway, thanks for covering Manhattan while I'm in DIY mode. Hey, my pleasure. What's the point of having two Spider Men if they don't coordinate work schedules? Heard that. Watch it. All right, I should get back to it. Find that wrench, let me know. Can do. Later, Pete. Watch it. Thanks a lot, Santa. Oh, I should have taken a damn subway. My Watch it. kid loves you. Best fries in town. my kid. you were here, Dad.
Dude, put it on. I'll cover you. Very first super suit. This is only half of the present. Well, what's the other half? I'll let you know when I find it. But I can come to the hospital. No, stay where it's safe. But you're hurt. What if something happens to you while I'm not there? Mijo, this Hey, Ma. You busy? Not too busy. What's going on? I just left Trinity Church. I was thinking about Finn. And... Uh... Tell me about it. She saved my life. And yours. Everybody's. They tried. They tried to silence me. Tried to kill me. Who? Whoever engineered Rhino's escape and sent him careening through my studio right in the middle of recording my charity Christmas special. Think of the children. And think of me. Because J. Jonah Jameson refuses to be silenced. So in my tireless mission to bring you just the facts, I'm holding my nose and broadcasting from my producer Jared's disgusting hovel of a studio apartment that he shares with... How many others? Five? Good Lord, Jared, when I was your age, I owned a two-bedroom on the Upper West Side. Your generation. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> anyway, if you are wondering who arranged Rhino's escape and pointed him right at your favorite truth speaker, witnesses on the ground are saying both Spider-Men showed up at the exact moment Rhino broke free. Coincidence? I think not. Ho, ho, ho! We've got our first caller coming down the chimney. You're live and festive on Just the Facts with J. Jonah Jameson. Season's greetings, Jonah. I just want to get your thoughts on Roxanne's new development in Harlem. Great for jobs or just wiping out small businesses? So glad you asked, caller. Without Question. Roxxon Plaza is American ingenuity at its finest. Green energy for the tree huggers. Groundbreaking new tech for Wall Street. And jobs for the locals. Look, we faced a terrible tragedy with last year's Devil's Breath crisis. It's taken time to rebuild. But Roxxon stepped up to the plate. Invested millions creating a state-of-the-art facility in a neighborhood that, uh, let's face it, wasn't exactly booming. The way I see it, Roxxon Plaza's a Christmas gift for the people of Harlem and all of New York. I understand some folks fear change, but it's a good thing. Take it from J. Jonah Jameson. Jared, not three sugars, not one sugar. Tahu sugars for 40 years. It's been Tahu sugars. Never do this to me again. Now, I know many of you brush heads love to listen to this show on your subway commute. I personally do my best to avoid setting foot in those feces-infested death tubes. But Jared informs me that a major outage recently stopped all trains going through Harlem. I'm happy to report that service to the area has since been fully restored 
but it should come as no surprise to learn that the new Spider-Man was seen futzing with transit authority equipment during the outage. Now I can already hear the zealots among you whining through your phones, but Jonah, obviously Spider-Man fixed the problem. Blah, 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 blah. Let's just stop right there and unpack that. Why would a guy who can swing through the skies and ignore Manhattan gridlock entirely need to even think about what's going on with the subway? If you just follow the threads, they take you right to the inevitable destination, the corner of Spider-Man Street and Menace Avenue. Merry Christmas. Despite Spider-Man and his sidekick's best attempt to ruin the holidays, I'm here to unwrap the best present you'll get all day. Me, J. Jonah Jameson. Now isn't that better than an overweight septuagenarian breaking into your home? Caller lines are open, so dial in and spend the Yuletide with Santa Jonah. Ho, 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 as I sip on this hot ch Wait a minute. Jared, where are my marshmallows? Out? How could they be out? Ugh. Friends, the war on Christmas is brutal and relentless. But we soldier on. Call now. Folks, here we are again. A major disaster in our city. Explosions. A bridge collapse. Weapons discharged amid rush hour traffic. Thank heaven no lives were lost. But we can't be that lucky every time. What if this attack had happened a few days later, during the so-called storm of the century the 5 o'clock news won't stop jabbering about? From disaster to bedlam in a snap. Now there's plenty of blame to go around, including to these underground thugs. That being said, it'd be a dereliction of my duty if I didn't point out that the Underground's attack was little more than an armored car heist until Spider-Man's bratty little sidekick showed up and tried to handle things all on his own. What happened next? He made things worse. This new kid wants to be Spider-Man? Well, he sure is living up to the name. Speaking of which, anyone notice that the original Spider-Man hasn't been seen lately? I think I know why. He's like the parent pretending that the kid melting down in the cereal aisle isn't theirs. But we know the apple doesn't fall far from the web. We know it! You're the apple, Spider-Man! Friends, today I'm gonna have to be the disappointed parent. Not because of Jared. He's actually doing a fine job for a change. No, I'm disappointed that once again, some of you have allowed yourselves to be convinced that it's okay for a complete stranger with zero legal authority to parade around in a Halloween costume pretending to be some kind of savior. And once again, that misplaced faith has resulted in an unimaginable disaster. The truth is, it doesn't matter if you think Spider-Man is good. It doesn't even matter if he thinks he's good. What matters is, that every time something gets destroyed in this city, he's there. Or now, his protege is. Ask yourselves, with all these crises we faced, can we really afford to deal with twice as many? And where will it all end? Spider woman? Spider punk? Spider pig? Oh, while I vomit at that thought, enjoy these important messages from our fine sponsors. Oh. Today, I have the honor of welcoming Roxxon Energy's head of R&D, Simon Krieger. Mr. Krieger, you've been out promoting the benefits of your new form reactors, the first of which is set to open in Harlem soon. Yet, you've had some critics. Hmm. Well, first off, Jonah, uh, let me say what an honor and a pleasure it is to be on your show. Oh, well, I'm blushing. And yeah, you're right, we've had some resistance most notably from Rio Morales, who uh, looks to be a new city council member in the upcoming special election. And I have a, I have a lot of respect for Ms. Morales. Uh, she's smart, she's a great role model for young women, but I think she's putting her energy in the wrong place. Our new form reactors will make this a better city, a better home for New Yorkers. But I, I, I guess some people just have a hard time with change. Let me give you some advice. One highly successful man to another. 
You know what I like to say to my critics? F you and the horse you rode in on! <laughs> well, okay, I, I, uh, I admire your conviction. You're, uh, you're a man who's not afraid to pay a fine in order to make uh, your point. Fine? What do you mean? Jared, how much? Do your editing thing, quick! You all remember Wilson Fisk, don't you? The so-called kingpin of crime? I'm told he's getting five-star treatment in his cell, which is nicer than Jared's apartment, while his shark lawyers appeal his conviction. But it seems there may be some justice in the world after all, because a new Daily Bugle expose reveals that his now dilapidated Fisk Tower, which is scheduled for demolition in the new year, has been taken over by squatters. And isn't it just perfect karma that this garish monument to the ego of a guy who always felt he was above the law has been overrun by a bunch of freeloading bums? Next thing you know, Spider-Man will turn the joint into his personal headquarters. So how does it feel to be hoisted on your own petard, Wilson? No, Jared, that is not an obscenity. Read a book! Batten down the hatches, folks. The long presaged storm of the century, one heck of a blizzard, is blowing in. Make sure you're stocked up on supplies. My loyal listeners will already have plenty of Jameson's jerky, guaranteed to last longer than radioactive fallout. Meanwhile, if you're planning on taking the in-laws to visit Trinity Church, I got some bad news. Parts of this sacred local landmark are now rubble, following Yet another skirmish involving Spider-Man and the Tinkerer. Thankfully, Roxxon was able to secure the scene quickly. The current whereabouts of either masked menace are unclear. But right now, that's secondary to the fact that Roxxon has generously offered to pick up the cost of Trinity's restoration. Even though the damage was caused through no fault of their own. That's the kind of selfless giving we need more of this time of year, folks. Roxxon just made my nice list. I'll give you three guesses who's on the naughty list. And they all start with spider and end in man. Stop me if you've heard this before. Spider-Man chases villain through city. Millions of dollars of property damage follow. We're still tallying up the damage from Rhino's rampage. Then the bridge disaster. And now it seems the junior menace decided to go for the hat trick with his new frenemy, the Tinkerer. I say those two should get a room, preferably a prison cell, and hash out their differences in private, somewhere very, very far from New York. And I don't just mean Jersey. I'm talking Oregon or even Alaska. Then maybe I could have one peaceful night at home watching the great Wakandan cook-off without getting interrupted by my fire escape being torn off the side of my building. Darn it, that reminds me. Jared, did you set my DVR? Folks, I've heard differing opinions from my discerning listeners about Roxxon's security force. On the one hand, and this is fair, there are some of the same concerns I have about Spider-Man. These are not law enforcement officers and do not answer to the same standards. On the other hand, Roxxon has every right to protect its property and interests. And many of the skirmishes people are concerned about started because Spider-Man broke and entered into Roxxon's places of business. Now I'm told these incidents have died down. But I ask you, if a stranger in a skin-tight suit burst into your bedroom at night, what would you do? No, no, wait, that was rhetorical. Jared, shut down the comments. You people are sick. Hey, friends, thank you so much for telling people about this podcast. We've jumped the charts from 136 to 87. Like, uh, wow. <laughs> okay, okay, moving on. Today, I'm doing a quick cast before I head downtown for my citizenship test, and I'm answering fan DMs. First one, where are you from, Danica? Well, I was born in Fuzhou, China, but we came to New York when I was six. Next question, what kind of mic do you use? A uh, purple one? I'm just kidding, <laughs> the link's on my blog. Uh, okay, question three, what's the point of your podcast? Okay, so once a week, I get coffee with my friend, a journalist turned lobbyist. We talk about the news, and while we don't always agree, 
Having to defend what I think makes me prep better. It keeps me informed and gives me a chance to revise my gut reactions. So I thought, what if everybody had that friend? What if I could be that friend for them? That's why I'm here. Ooh, and I should head to the subway. Thanks for listening, and remember that being overly familiar on social media is not cool. Okay, bye! Hello, this is the Danicast with Danica Hart, where we talk about the news without screaming at clouds. Let's start with the most obvious news. Prison break! Wait, that's not the right tone. <clears throat> Let me try again. Prison break. Okay, so, police were transferring prisoners back to the raft. They tried to break out. The Spider-Men stopped them. We all know that much. But here's something weird, okay? Police say Alexei Sitsyevich, aka Rhino, has been transferred to a more secure, privatized form of work release. Uh, what the heck does that mean? No one will say, so I'm gonna keep digging. Although if it means Rhino is being held somewhere more secure than the raft, I guess that's good news. Till next time, if you're walking on a busy sidewalk, step to the side if you're staring at your phone or need to slow down, or I will run you over. <laughs> Just kidding. Mostly. Okay, bye! Hey, Danicast fans. You ever hear a story that you just can't get out of your head? Maybe it's a scene from a movie, a headline you read on the back of someone else's newspaper, or your friend's play-by-play -play of a no-good, very bad date. Well, for me, that story is the underground. Who are they? What do they want? What's infuriating is that the question is so simple, but it seems impossible to answer. They steal, hurt, kidnap, and harass. They hit businesses and crime families alike. They have next-level technology and a grudge against everyone. <sighs> I'm gonna keep looking into them, and if you have a tip, please send it my way. Until next time, remember not to put your coffee grounds in the garbage disposal, or they'll clog up your drain, like, real bad. Okay, bye! Hey, Danicasters! A lot of you have questions about Roxxon, such as, who are they, and... Why do they suck so much? So let me give you a quick rundown. Simon Krieger took over after inventing new form, Roxxon's super secret fuel source. He shifted the company's focus to power, and now he's trying to build new form reactors around the city, starting in Harlem. Caught up? Cool. Now here's the problem. New form has not been vetted by anyone. No government agency, no council of medical professionals, nada, zilch. Roxxon claims New Form is a corporate secret and doesn't want to give up the goods for review. Well, uh, too bad, buddy. People need to know it's safe before they put it in their light bulbs. Have more questions? DM me. Until next time, remember to drink eight eight-ounce glasses of water per day to keep you nice and hydrated. Okay, bye! Hey, friends. Some news. Feast North, the satellite branch in Harlem, is shutting down. Details on why are spotty, but I've heard that a flood made the building unlivable. If you're able to donate money, time, blankets, or food, it would really help the people who will be displaced by this. Today's advice, lining your trash can with paper will help absorb spilled liquids. I suggest using one of J. Jonah Jameson's books. Okay, bye. Hey, friends. Apparently, Mr. Jameson heard that I'm, and I am quoting his producer here, a Spider-Man stan. So now he's demanding I debate him. Jameson is a trained debater, and he's an accomplished journalist. So even if I'm right, that doesn't mean I can win. Sometimes it's not about the truth, it's about being the one who talks the most, or the loudest. But look, this debate is going to happen. I couldn't live with myself if I didn't try, and hey, maybe we'll all learn something. Next week, I'll post an edited version of the debate with Triple J, with the full transcript on my blog. But until then, remember to invest in blue light filters if screens give you headaches. Bye! Hey, all. We're gonna be a little bit more serious today. If you were hurt in the Underground's attack on Roxxon Plaza, physically or emotionally, please, please get help. There's a list of resources on my blog. Switching topics, I'm pulling together an expose on the underground, and I need your help. If you have any information you can share, it could help us shine a light on a group that needs to be taken down. Till next time, stay safe, and remember your mental health is just as important as your physical health. Goodbye. Hello, friends. This is the Danicast with our debate at... That's your intro? Lame! We in the business call that burying the lead. Hype it up! 
Let me ask you something, Danny. Do you ever think about what you're inciting? About your journalistic integrity? More than some. Because your campaign against Roxxon is baffling to an actual journalist like myself. You should be attacking the young, unproved vigilante who keeps causing problems in Harlem. What? You, you twist everything Spider-Man does into something malicious while simultaneously excusing everything Roxxon does wrong. All Spider-Man needs for you to support him is to get a better PR department. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. The only problem Spider-Man fixes are the ones he causes. I won't praise the arsonist for putting out his fire. Meanwhile, Roxxon built a beautiful plaza in a failing neighborhood. By tearing down homes and businesses, our new Spider-Man is proving that Harlem isn't the failure Roxxon makes it out to be. And you, Mr. Jameson, for someone who claims to love New York, you sure do seem to hate New Yorkers. You are clearly emotional, young lady, so I'm invoking the mercy rule on this debate. Jared, shut it down! And whose idea was it to debate a teenager? There are no good optics to destroying a child! Get the car! I need a hot stone massage! Hello? Hello? Uh, yeah, he, he's gone. Well, thanks for the debate that you demanded, Mr. Jameson. To everyone else, remember to stand up every half hour while working at a computer. Bye! Hey, my buds, my dudes, my gal pals. As if New York wasn't exciting enough during the holidays, there is now a tropical storm slash hurricane creeping its way up the coast. Oh yeah, just like that movie where the boat gets flipped over by a big wave, you know? Oh, sorry, spoilers. Anyway, if this storm hits, a lot of people are gonna need help. So now's a great time to donate to your local shelter. Till next time, remember to check your credit score annually. You get one free report per year, so be responsible. Goodbye. Hello, friends, and welcome to the Danacast. You may have heard that I endorsed candidate Rio Morales for city council in the special election. So today, I'm interviewing her, for real. Thank you for being on, Miss Morales. Thank you for inviting me. I absolutely love your show. Aw, thanks. So you're running against the incumbent in your district. How do you think you can do better? Unlike my opponent, I live in the district, and I listen to the people who call it home. I want Harlem to be as vibrant and safe as it was while I was growing up here. Roxanne Plaza was built on the current leadership's watch. That alone should make anyone think twice about voting for him. We agree on that. Switching gears a bit, you're a full-time science teacher. What made you want to jump into politics? It's really about loving my home and wanting to fight for it. During Martin Lee's attack on City Hall, my husband gave his life to protect others. I want to honor his memory by fighting for my neighbors and friends the best way I know how. Good luck in the polls, and thank you for being on the show. Dana fans, you can join an AMA with Candidate Morales on my blog for the next hour. Until next time, remember to set one minute per hour aside for deep, meditative breathing. Helps you clear your head. Okay, bye! Hey, Danacast fans, um, my debate with Triple J did numbers, like vaulted the podcast up the chart to number three. Three! That is above Mr. Jameson himself! Ah! Oh, someone recognized me at the deli today and asked about my citizenship application. Like, that's weird, right? That's, <laughs> it's weird. Okay, so I'm kind of wondering if maybe it's time to class up the pod a little, you know, talk less about me, talk more about the issues, include some ads, appear in public wearing a, a blazer, <laughs> that kind of thing. What do you think? My DMs are still open, so let me know. And until next time, don't talk to women wearing headphones, okay, please? They don't like it. Bye! Hey, all. This cast could get a little maudlin, so um, instead I'm going to phrase it as a call to action. Things are bad in Harlem. The underground rocks on, the tinkerer, it's, it's all coming to a head with a neighborhood caught in the middle. City Council candidate Rio Morales is organizing a full evacuation to the Bronx. So please, if you're outside Harlem and can offer a room, a bed, a couch, anything, you could save a life. I know you're afraid. I am too. But this is our time to come together as a community. We are strong enough to survive this. Today's advice is to hold your loved ones close. 
Goodbye, friends, and good luck. Hey, Dana fans. For the last few weeks, Harlem has had a series of bad breaks. The attack on CJ Walker Park, to name one. Spider-Man intervened to protect the neighborhood, but he didn't do it alone. I'm here with Genki Lee, the Harlem local who helped Spider-Man save the neighborhood. It felt really good to help people out. Even better when we found out Wilson Fisk was behind it. Shutting him down is a career highlight for me. And Spider-Man. <laughs> I bet. How did you guys stumble on the conspiracy? By talking to people in the neighborhood. They were all looking out for each other, which helped us look out for them. Teo, Caleb, Camila, Haley, Steph, Gloria, if you're listening, thank you. I checked with Wilson Fisk's parole officer, who confirmed the big guy is under tire security and will likely get some time tacked onto his prison sentence. Genki and everyone in Harlem, thanks for looking out. Till next time, friends, remember to change your toothbrush every three months. Goodbye. Middle school graduation was bittersweet. Finn went to Midtown High, but I got into Brooklyn Visions. Said we stay in touch, but man, high school's like a whole new world. Thank you. 